Inside of your PC is a central processing unit or CPU. It's basically just a piece of silicon with billions of microscopic switches called transistors. Depending on the flow of electricity, they can be on or off, kind of like a light bulb, which gives us two states, one and zero. The value of one of these switches is called a bit. One bit by itself doesn't really do much, but put them together and a group of eight bits is called a byte and can have 256 different combinations of zeros and ones. Congratulations, we can now store information by counting in a system called binary. Every bit represents a power of two, one meaning the power is included and zero meaning it's not. So this number has one times 64, one times four and one times one, which adds up to 69. This is nice, but for humans, hexadecimal is even better. It's often denoted by the zero X and is simply a more readable format than binary. Four binary bits can take any value from zero to 15. Hexadecimal uses zero to nine and eight to F to represent those values. So a group of four bits can be replaced by one hexadecimal digit. Okay, now that we can store numbers, we just need the computers to actually, you know, do something with them. Using transistors, you can make logic gates, which are electronic circuits that encapsulate logical statements. You can think of it as a light bulb with two switches, where the light only turns on under certain conditions, for example, only if A and B are on. By combining logic gates in a clever way, you can build circuits that perform calculations according to Boolean algebra, which is a system formalizing mathematical operations in binary. But even though computers understand zeros and ones, for humans, it's not really all that useful. So using a character encoding like ASCII, we can assign a binary number to each character. When you type any on your keyboard, it gets translated into this binary code. And as soon as the computer sees this, it says, ah, yes, that is a capital A and slaps it on the screen. How these devices fit together is handled by an operating system kernel like Windows, Linux, or Mac, which sits between computer hardware and applications and manages how they all work together. 